Hey y'all, what's up? So welcome to episode two of Marathon Training. I am entering into week five of my training. So my first two weeks, I had talked to y'all during my first week of training, but my first two weeks were just easy runs. I had four days of easy runs, a moderate distance on Monday and Wednesday, a short distance on Friday, and then my what I'd consider my long run on Saturday. So that was the first two weeks. The third week I added, or my coach, Jeff Cunningham, added a speed workout on Wednesday. So just with some change in speed, so run fast for 30 seconds, run easy for 90 seconds for a certain amount of sets with a warm up and a cool down. And that was similar week four. And now in week five, I'm moving from four running days a week to five running days a week. So my the format of my training is switching from Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday to Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So far, my body's been feeling great as far as like knees, feet, calves, and stuff like that. I'm definitely having some tightness in my calves, but that's to be expected just spending so much time on my feet. Um, and I think the biggest challenge I've really faced is keeping my heart rate in the right zone. And I didn't think this was going to be as hard for me as it has been um, because I'm just used to pushing myself in CrossFit. Even when I come up to the last mile, whatever run I'm on, I just want to push the last mile. Like it's just natural within me to want to push myself. So the first two weeks of running, I would say were very difficult because I was supposed to be keeping my heart rate in zone two. So that's about under a 150 beats per minute heart rate. And my average heart rate was definitely like the 160s um, when I was finishing up some of those runs and it was pretty brutal. So <laughs> I've switched to keeping my heart rate in the right zone, slowing down my pace, although that's been emotionally challenging because I'm so used to just being focused on a pace. Like I want to hold, my goal for the marathon was to hold a about a nine minute mile pace. And in training right now to keep my heart rate where it's supposed to be, I, I just can't run that pace. So I'm slowing down. I'm usually high nines, low tens is like my average pace to be able to keep my heart rate in zone two. So it's made the running much more enjoyable. Uh, it's not as painful because it's just a more comfortable pace to hold, but it's definitely long and I'm experiencing a little bit of like, I don't want to say boredom, but I guess boredom. Um, just being out there trying to like maybe think about something. My brain is all over the place. I'm either thinking about something or singing a song, like who knows just what's going on in my brain. But I think that's been the biggest challenge. One thing that I was thinking about when I was running recently was how I've already felt some of the adaptations to spending so much time on my feet that if I was just getting into running and I wasn't sure how I felt about running, those first two weeks, are brutal. Like my body like just ached all over. I was super tired. The runs were hard, like getting out. I remember my, the first four miles I ran felt like literal eternity. And now entering week five, I'm like, oh, four miles. That's like, you know, that's shorter. Like I'll be totally fine. I can get through that without even thinking about it. But just the challenge of somebody entering into running in those first two weeks being so hard, I can see why that would deter someone from continuing to run. Um, but one thing that's been cool is my body has actually adapted to spending that much time on my feet. And when I go out for the run, even if I, you know, I had a day last week where I really didn't want to run, I just started going and I was like, oh, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Um, so really, if you're starting to run, I would definitely make sure you focus on keeping that pace slow, something comfortable, a conversation pace. You could be talking to a friend. And then as you run, just trying to get through those two weeks because it's really, um, I think, a big adaptation your body has to go through to be spending that time on your feet. And that's also making sure, like I have a coach, someone who's doing my mileage, making sure I'm not increasing my mileage by more than 10% per week. So I'm increasing gradually. My pace is slow. I'm taking care of my feet and my calves as best I can. Um, and that's really been super helpful. So if you feel like you hate running, it might just be because you're running too fast or you're doing too much too soon. Um, and slowing down the pace and really just being pushing through that beginning phase, I think is huge. So 
Another thing I've been working in two to three strength days a week, just kind of mixing it up, going off of how I feel. I'm trying to do one lower body day, one upper body day, and then one full body day is my goal each week. The first couple of weeks I definitely was doing probably too much strength and that was really affecting my runs. So I've kind of toned that back a little bit, more focus on bodybuilding style strength, although I'm still you know, squatting, deadlifting, doing things with the barbell that I really enjoy. Um, and then, yeah, no CrossFit basically. I have done like maybe, I think three CrossFit style workouts over the five weeks. And it was because I really, I like had gone home to New Hampshire. I wanted to like hop in with a group, my old gym there, you know, things that I was like, I'm gonna do this, just chill, do this CrossFit style workout. So I'm trying not to do that style of training right now because I'm focusing so much on running. And I'm excited to see if my body will continue to adapt aerobically and what that will feel like. Cause mentally right now running more than I think I've got still my furthest I've ran is seven miles. And I think next week I've got eight. So once I get to those double digit miles, I'm going to be like pretty pumped that I physically have done that. Cause that would be like a super huge deal. So I'm excited for that to come. Um, so basically it's been really cool. It's been great. I'm excited to continue going forward. I haven't gotten to a point where I'm practicing with in fuel running, but that's coming. I'm definitely feeling, I know I talked about last um, time on my episode that I was struggling with a lot of fear. I feel like those fears are calming down. Um, as I'm running, I'm getting more comfortable spending time outside and just being aware, but not overly like freaked out. Um, so that's made the runs more enjoyable. So yeah, that's basically it. As far as this marathon training is going, um, I'm going to put in the caption a couple of the workouts I've done. So you guys can just see the style of strength training I'm doing right now. And I'm really excited to continue on and see how five days of running a week is gonna affect my body because four is pretty legit. So going to five and running Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I feel like it's gonna be a big change, but I'm excited to do it. So anyways, if you guys have any questions specifically about marathon training or the training I'm doing, how I'm fueling, what I'm eating, make sure you drop them in the comment section. I'll answer them on my next marathon training video. Awesome. Have a great day, guys.